Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Rustlers. After writing another chapter in the adventure logbook, Clutch and company head toward home. Below them is the land of the Golden West, the land of cowboys, rodeos, and ranches. It's been quite a while since I blew this territory spinner. I thought maybe we'd have time to stop and say hello to a friend of mine, Tex Wright. Tex Wright? Sounds like a real cowboy. Champion of Longhorn County's rodeo. Runs a 40,000 acre ranch. Raises prize white face cattle. And all around Western End. Golly, Tex sounds like the Western heroes we see on TV. Ain't that a foot? I know you like my friend Tex. A wonderful person. And talk about real Western cooking. Nobody cooks any better. I'd sure like to be like Tex Clutch. Rough and ready. Just like Tex Wright. There's where we set her down, Spinner. We're coming in. That's the ranch house. All out. I see some cowboys way over there. Maybe one of them is Tex. Could be, Spinner. But there's a far away I can't tell. Clutch. Clutch cargo. Hi. You're just passing over. Thought we'd drop in. Am I glad to see you. I was just thinking about you. You must have read my mind. Sure is good to see you, Tex. A girl? Spinner, this is Tex Wright. Tex, you've heard all about Spinner and Paddlefoot. I think Spinner thought you were a man. I really am glad to know you, Miss Tex. And I think I've changed my mind about being just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to do, Clutch. Two head of prize cattle disappear at a time. Right into thin air. I've lost 60 cattle in the last month. Think you can help me, Clutch? We'll do all we can, Tex. Get your pony, Spinner. We're going to look around. I'll go with you and show you where they graze. What's that funny-looking truck, Miss Tex? That's the medicine show truck, Spinner. They've been around these parts with their show for a couple of months now. A medicine show? What do you know? Haven't seen one since I was a kid. Do you think maybe we can see this one, Clutch? They do a matinee show. We'll try and catch it. Fine. But right now, we'd better look around. Clutch and company with Tex begin their ride and head for the West Forty Range. You say most of the cattle have disappeared from the West Forty section? How far is that from the ranch house, Tex? About five miles. It's on the other side of that hill. Look at Battlefoot. He's found a new way to ride. <laughs> Tex, hold up a minute. I smell smoke. Any campers around here? Not that I know about. There's the fire clutch. Get back at the ranch. Come on. Have a moment to lose. The whole place may go up in smoke. Can they get back in time to save the barn? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. adventure, The Rustlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company met Tex, a beautiful lady rancher, who told them about her cattle disappearing. Determined to help, Clutch and company started out on horses to look at the West 40 cattle range. Clutch smelled smoke. Having a moment to lose, the whole place may go up in smoke. That fire sure has a head start. I hope we can save the house. Look, Clutch! Somebody on a horseback riding away from the fire! Don't do any good to follow them too far away. What's in the barn, Tex? About $5,000 worth of straw. And as the cowboys say, that ain't hay. Wow, look at that thing burn. Stop here. Don't take the horses too close. They're afraid of fire. We need all hands to keep that fire from spreading. <laughs> Let Paddlefoot hold the horses. The hose is over here. I'll start the pump motor. Hold them, Paddlefoot. Don't let them get away. Okay, Tex. Let her go. I'll give you a hand, Clutch. 
Crutch and Spinner battle the fire. Finally, every spark is out, but too late to save the barn. Thanks again for trying so hard, Clutch. What would we do without friends? That's what friends are for, Miss Tex, to help. Spinner's right. You know, the more I think of it, the more I feel this fire was started on purpose. Somebody didn't want us to get to the West 40 range. They started the fire to make us come back. Well, the damage is done now. I'm going to take you and Spinner to the medicine show. The medicine show? Oh, keen! And Mob Medicine, known as Curate, will positively heal snake bite, frost bite, and dog bite, and will also cure hoarseness. Come here, Chief Surefire. Me here? What you want? Folks, did you hear that? Of course you didn't. The Chief is hoarse. Now, Chief, take a sip of old Doc Myers' Curate. Whoop, that's it up. Now talk. Me okay now, you buy them and try them. <laughs> this is just as I remember the medicine show. Golly, Clutch, we better buy some of that. It's great stuff. That's as fake as that Indian chief. You mean he's not a real Indian? <laughs> that's right, Spitter. That's Doc Meyer's helper, made up to look like an Indian. Oh, shh, Doc's going to sing. Taters grow. That's why the birds warble sweet in the springtime. That's why these old fellers hard am wrong to go. Let's get back to your ranch, Tex. I'm ready. Clutch and company and Tex start for the ranch. Clutch! Right there! Isn't that cow tied by the feet? Sure is, Bitter. Come on, let's look. That's one of my cows. Somebody was going to come back and pick her up. I'll untie her. Wow, look at her go. Gee, she's glad to get loose. Clutch, that rumbling noise. them from being trampled to death. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Rustlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company tried to save Texas Barn, but couldn't they decided to see the matinee performance of Doc Meyer's Medicine Show. On the way back, Spinner saw a cow tied by the feet. As they released the cow... Quick, into that ditch, everyone. Lay down, everyone. Everybody okay? Okay, Clutch. I thought I was a gunner a couple of times. There's always dangerous stampedes in this open range country. We're just lucky. Let's get back to the Jeep. There's still plenty to do. We're here, Tex. I'd still like to see the West 40 range. I think we'll fly over it. Sometimes we can see better. Whatever you say, Clutch. Only I'll stay here. Whoever set my barn on fire may come back. I'll follow that same trail we were on. Come on, Spinner. See you soon, Tex. Those fences are the outside boundaries of Texas' 40,000 acres. Pretty big place. I'll say. Good place to play cowboys and Indians. See the white-faced cattle? Sure do. Then I see something else. What? Indians! At least I see an Indian teepee and a fire. Well, let's set her down and take a look. You were right. Indians. The chief is smiling, so they must be friendly. Let's get out and say hello. 
You friendly bird man, we friendly Indian, me big chief wild horse, this little chief ponytail. How? 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 Thought maybe you could help us. We're friends of Tex Wright. We friends of Tex Wright too. We help you. Many cattle disappear. Somebody steal them. You see strangers on ranch? Only strange cow. Look like cow, but foot tracks not like cow. Funny cow come every day. Two cows follow him away. That must be it, Spinner. Tex said she missed two cows each day. Golly, Clutch, what kind of a cow do you think this is? I'm getting an idea, but we'll wait and see. Where did you see these tracks? Me find tracks. White man go with little chief ponytail. Come, me show. Look, many cow track. Now you see funny cow track. By golly, you're right, little chief. Why, they look almost like a man's track. It wouldn't surprise me at all if they are a man's footprints disguised to look like cow tracks. Different funny tracks up ahead, you see. Funny is right. Those are automobile tracks. The other tracks stop right here. Do you think this is where they load the stolen cattle? Couldn't be anything else. This place bears watching. Come on, boys. Let's get back. As Clutch and the boys start for the plane, sharp animal eyes watch every move. and fangs of that lion. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Rustlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company took off in the plane to see the West 40 range from the air. When they landed, they met Chief Wild Horse and Little Chief Ponytail, who showed them the funny cow tracks. As they started back to the teepee... He's gonna jump! Run, boys! He's a lion! Stop fighting. Ooh, Clutch Cargo. Him, he big strong. Golly, Clutch. Thanks for saving our lives. Did you get hurt? Only a couple of scratches from his sharp claws. I'll be all right. Let's go on to the plane. When we get to Teepee, me got him surprise for you. A surprise for me? Gee, what is it? He can't tell now, Spinner. It wouldn't be a surprise. Yes, Chief Wild Horse, we saw funny cow tracks and car tracks, too. Now we find out who makes tracks. When sunrise in morning, cattle restless, move around much. Then two cows follow funny cow. We'll get to the bottom of this. And thanks for your help. Come on, Spinner. Let's go. Now, where's he gone? <laughs> there they are, Clutch Cargo. Spinner and Paddlefoot, now honorary Indian chiefs. Well, that's a great honor. And thanks again, little chief. <laughs> I think we know how your cows are disappearing, but who's doing it? That's the problem. While you were gone, Clutch, I found this piece of burned paper just over there. Does the printing mean anything to you? Y-E-R-S. Yours. Medic. Well, Tex, I'm not sure. But from the look and feel of the paper, I'd say it was a poster of some kind. Were there any advertising posters on your barn? Why, no. That's against the law in this part of the country. Then this paper must have been used to start the fire. Okay, if Spinner and I use your Jeep? You go ahead, Clutch. She's all yours. I'll in the Jeep, Spinner. We've got places to go. I'll need this charred paper, too. You think you may know who burned the barn? Yes, and maybe who's stealing your cattle. We'll be back soon. Clutch and company leave the ranch and head for town. Golly, Clutch, what's this all about? Just want to see that corny medicine show again. There's the truck, 
clutch. No one around. Good. That'll give us time to look it over. Paddlefoot, you keep watch while we look around. <laughs> look at that poster on the side of the truck. Same color as this piece of charred paper. And by golly, the printing matches, too. Yours is for my yours, and medic is for medicine. Now we're getting somewhere. Clutch? Spinner, where are you? I'm in the back of the truck, Clutch. Come on in. It's not locked. Clutch climbs into the truck with Spinner. And at that moment, unknown to them, Doc Myers and his helper have returned. Wonder whose Jeep that is, Spike? Don't know. Guess we'd better pull out fast. Yeah. We'll get going right away. Will Clutch and Spinner be trapped inside Doc Myers' truck? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Rustlers. You remember last time, Clutch and company were given a piece of charred paper Tex had found near the burned barn. They started for Doc Meyer's medicine show again, but found no one there. Clutch and Spinner had just stepped inside the truck when Doc Meyer's and Spike came back. Clutch, there's a cow suit. So that's how they catch Tex's cows. Paddlefoot's back. Somebody's coming. Check that side door lock, Spike. And let's get going. Oh, and get me that wrench from inside the truck. Okay, Doc. Then we'll get us two more cows and leave town. They're the cattle rustler spinner. Doc Myers and his fake Indian Spike. Are we gonna get him now? Not yet. I want to catch him in the act. Look out. Here comes Spike. Who make a sound? Come on, Spike. Forget that wrench. Let's get moving. Off goes the truck. But Clutch and Spinner have just time to scramble out unseen. We've got to make it fast back to the ranch. This is one show I don't want to miss. We'll get Tex and the horses at the ranch. Don't want to use the Jeep. Too noisy. Clutch and company pick up Tex at the ranch and head out for the West 40 on horseback. The cattle rock past those bushes ahead. Let's take a look. Meanwhile, not far away. You ready, Spike? Ready. Here we come, little cows. We timed it just right. Here they come. That's quite an act. Here they are. Go right into the herd. They're all headed for that chute. I forgot. Today is branding day. Chief Wild Horse and Little Chief Ponytail do the branding. Good. This will be a better show than I thought. Come on, to the chute. The cattle crowd into the chute, and on each, the hot branding iron leaves its ah! mark. Here comes an odd-looking cow. Does it belong to you, Tex? They all do. That one included. Him funny call. Him make me laugh. Now me make him laugh. Maybe. <laughs> him really funny cow. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Come on out, boys. Show's over for the funny cow. When the sheriff took Doc and Spike to jail, they confessed everything. They showed him where they'd hidden your stolen cattle. You'll get them back tomorrow, Tex. I want to thank you all for helping me and for getting rid of the funny cow forever. Oh, yeah? Look! <laughs> <laughs> And so ends the exciting story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Rustler.
Be sure to tune in next time for another exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Thank you.